Hello everybody, welcome back to Hard Enduro and Adventure Media, back in the workshop at Eurotech and today we're looking at another gas gas for PDI in which it's a four stroke this time, a little bit different to the uh, the TPIs that we did over the last couple of days, a little bit more in depth now with this four stroke EC250F and I'll just show you what, what I mean by it's a little bit more in depth. So it's a four stroke for starters and there are some uh, differences with the things we have to do with the engine in terms of uh, the emissions and uh, the exhaust for one. In the uh, the tail can you've got the uh, it's like a spark arrester type uh, gauze there we're going to take that out but to get that off <clears throat> we need to uh, just take off this little welding tab so we can unscrew it and remove it and there's also a, a brass barb on the fuel injection body as well which needs to come out. Once we get the bike stripped down, uh, I'll show you what we're doing and how we get that out. So let's, uh, let's start stripping it down. stripping down going on there we've got the exhaust off the subframes up I'll just show you what I've just taken out the back of the the tailpipe just taking that that filter out of the just change my hands just screwed that back in with some uh, thread lock to hold that in place That's the tail can so what we're going to do now is just take all the uh, the emission type stuff off that pops out a bit of a tube and that's uh, the UK or EU restricted tube and in America I believe they have um, like reeds uh, square reeds in the in the airbox that's that we'll get rid of that and then we need to start looking at getting all this pipe work off. And as, if you remember on the, the TPI, the two stroke, I showed you these part of the fuel evaporation or fuel catchment system as it is, which is here. So it bolts on to where the front sprocket is or nearby it. And uh, it's all connected up through a series of tubes up to a charcoal filter in the, the frame. Now on the four stroke, it's a lot easier to get out. You can see the attachments here and this is where you would have like a, a cool expansion tank reservoir if you want to fit one in your bike it just replaces what is a charcoal filter if you can see under there now i'll pull it out in a second or two i want you have a look at that Okay, so we're at a stage now, we've got all the parts off that we need to uh, take off the bike. I'll just go through what they are and just, it shows you what um, what it's like when it's sort of assembled on the bike. So you've got that in the frame, that's the charcoal filter. This pipe here will be connected to the top of the, the fuel tank, that's the fuel tank breather. This pipe here, I'll just cut in and say that pipe goes to the inlet on the cylinder head. And that's a breather. So that's, that's your uh, fuel evaporation sort of system there. Exhaust wise, we've taken the, the end filter out, we've taken the middle filter out, and on the air box, we've taken the restrictor tube as well. Going back to the PDI box for this four stroke, very similar to your two stroke PDI box, got a few slightly different things in there. And these are the main important parts now for the uh, wiring harness to uh, put plugs in various places where we've taken the equipment off. That's to blank off the Lamba sensor and that's to plug where the uh, fuel evaporation control module was located. That's to plug the exhaust where we've taken the Lamba sensor out and that screw there and copper washer is to plug the 
And again, I'll just correct myself here. That's to plug the hole on the uh, inlet on the cylinder head where we're taking the brass barb out. Now, and it's locked tight in, so I'm going to have to get some heat on that. So I'm going to use a heat gun with a heat shield just to keep the, the heat isolated on that area, and that'll come out nicely all being well. So I'm going to move a few things out of the way and get going with that. You've just seen there, me warming it up. I'm just on the last couple of threads now, and it's, it's quite hot. So it's one of those, it's... Uh, you really got to persevere with getting these these out because if you if you break one of these or shear it off, that's it. We're out now. You're in real trouble. I'm focusing on that. So what we'll do now is we'll plug that hole with the the screw and copper washer. As you can see, I'm just putting that screw in now. It's got a bit of uh, thread lock on. Screw that in nicely. It's got the copper washer as well, just to. Uh, Doubly seal it, a bit of glue, a bit of blue thread lock. That's it, that's nipped up. So that should never need to come out again in theory. So now that's done, we can start putting it back together a little bit. So as far as the rest of the bike goes, that's pretty much the same as the two-stroke bike. So that's it for me at the moment. There'll be more short stories coming from the Eurotech workshop and hopefully some stuff from home as well. Uh, we're getting into spring now. We've got some events coming up uh, at the end of the month. I'm going to be taking part in some practice days. I'm also racing. I've got a race at Lincolnshire on the 11th of April, which I'm looking forward to. I'm also looking forward to going to Crowborough. The, I think it's Enduro Valley, they call it. In, uh, in May and we've also got Extreme Ravines as well which I'm going to be riding and I've also booked on for Seek to Sky to race there as well so it's going to be an interesting year all being well so fingers crossed we can get back to some sort of normality so stay tuned Hard Enduro and Adventure Media at Eurotech see you soon